Hey, what's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, because you are maniacs and the patron, and happen to have an awesome taste in music, today's video is brought to you by you, as well as Nuclear War Now, and for one, Ted Crypt. Dark Descent did not collab here, but still, Ted Crypt, Dark Descent, Norway's Molested, Stormbold, as well as Unborn in the Woods, Doom Demo, 1993, and the Stalk the Dead Demo of 1992. Here's the C and D sides. And this is pre Borknar. This is such a amazing, essential slab of death metal that if you're like, wait, this is pre Borknar? Like, what are you talking? Like, yeah! I'm not making that up, like... And just, it's one of those holy shit type releases. Cause Stormbolt on its own, it's like... These five tracks are just amazing. Like, when it comes to Norwegian death metal, everyone knows Cadaver. And then it's like uh, obliteration, and most people just kind of draw a blank. And it's like molested. And a lot, again, I, sometimes I get looks like I don't know who that is. And yo, it's legit some hope the best Norwegian death metal. And here's what's so cool. Like, half the band, like, wanted to go towards the black metal in the expression while others would keep the original death metal style. Put another way, both musically and aesthetically, this has and always has been a crossroad, a kind of point zero. To make a long story short, much things became too drastic and groundbreaking for us in Molested to continue as a band, and as a farewell, for all of us, ended like that with the album Stormbolt. Which I would say is an EP, and you get a bonus track which has uh, Following the Growls, which originally appeared on the debut CD Blood Drumji 1995 on Effigy Records. But uh, like molested are Osteen G. Brun, guitar and vocals. Borknar, uh, Erland Eckerson drums, Toland Turens guitar, and Kenneth Lillen bass. Uh, Irla uh, Irland Erickson did the little write up here. 2022. Like I said, just some legit e essential Norwegian death metal. The, usur the Usurper's Winter Blood, Fog Flames, oh. Every song on Stormvold is amazing. And having the bonus track as well, just, it's one of those releases where I'm like, Awesome. Like, thank you.
Because I'm not trying to sound like, well, but seriously, like, cyanide. If it wasn't for, like, Head Split Records, Hell's Headbangers, Dark Descent, and The Crypt, I, I, I really, and also, like, Caustic Cassette, I have to throw them out there. But, like, there's certain reissues where I don't think they would exist if it wasn't for certain underground labels giving a shit about the past, and especially death metal's past, and how important it is. And I'm not talking more, st uh, oh my goodness, more sound studios. Like, that's, I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to sound like a dick, but it's like saying Sunset Studios in Sweden, you know, like, yeah, who, who went there? It's like, uh, what, <laughs> you know, like, and I better have uh, pronounced that <laughs> studio correctly or I'm going to be really mad at myself. Because we have Swan, um, Dan Swano. I'm trying to, is it Sunlight? Oh my goodness, why am I drawing a goddamn blank here? It's that famous fucking, oh my, I'm sorry. Uh, of course, it's not going to be on there. God damn it, what is the name of that studio? I just, I just don't want to get it wrong, and... Oh my goodness. I'm not restarting this video. I'm sorry. I have to cheat. I'm pretty sure it's Sunlight Studios. If I'm wrong, I legitimately apologize. Yep, that's it. Stockholm, Sweden. I, I 100%. <laughs> Again, I, I know you might be like, you, 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 you blame your brain injuries on a lot. My memory. I don't, some shit, it's like, I can remember like certain, like, just, just like what t-shirt I wore to a show 25 years ago, but. I still forget some days, like, oh yeah, Thursday's trash day. Like, just dumb shit. So, real quickly, I am gonna throw on Stalk the Dead. Cause, oh, I love it. And I think you should love it too if you've never heard it. Again, Molest is one of those bands. They have some really cool demos. The debut full length. But this is where it's at. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Stalk the Dead. But Stormvold? Holy shit. So having everything kind of right here... Aside from the debut, is sick. But, like, there's definitely, like, a more black metal vibe on the earlier stuff. And it's cool as hell. See, it's like, it's legit. Essential death metal for Stormvolt, but the Stalk the Dead demo. This is more like I. It's just it has those black metal parts, but it's still this awesome slab of death metal. You get the intro and in the Stalk the Dead Memorial of the Inhuman, and on board Woods. It's, it's such a 
Like, such a mouthful demo title, but it's badass. Unborn Woods in Doom Demo 1993. And you get Unborn Woods in Doom, Calmness, Mournful Scars, and Forlorn as a Mist of Grief, and then they outro, they wail from the well. And see, it's just the crypt. Like, there's no Dark Descent logo. But I grabbed this from the Nuclear War Now sale, which will be done soon. Like, I had no idea this was even going to be colored vinyl. So I was like, whoa, that, that's sick. And it's just one of those releases, like, with Stormbolt in general. That's worth the price of admission, but having Stalk the Dead, Unborn Woods, fuck yeah, worth every penny. Because you really gotta remember, like, during this time period in Norway, and I know Norway is a big country, and I probably should have looked it up a little bit. I love how they put, like, the art right there. I probably should have looked up what part of Norway molested hail from. Because, like, if they went on, if the, I know Oystein went on with Borknar. So I'm just kind of curious. I'm guessing, like, maybe Bergen or Oslo. Maybe one of the big cities. Maybe out in the sticks. Just because they obviously, like, they were influenced by the Norwegian black metal scene, but not enough to compromise, you know, for one, getting locked up. Like, I mean, even Emperor. Like, dude, Faust murdered someone. I mean, like, it's whatever, but, like, a dude still, like, he, sh a dude, he killed somebody. Like, that, that's gnarly. At the end of the day, it's like, ooh, the death is real. Like, shit. And, like, I always thought it was weird. I don't remember what documentary it was. Maybe it was, like, Until the Light Takes Us. One, It was one of those black metal documentaries. But they, like, censored his face and, like, changed his voice. And then I think he, like, a year later played, like, Vakken with Emperor. Like, I think they, like, legitimately did, like, an original lineup, uh set of, like, in the nightside eclipse and stuff. I, I, I swear that happened. I, I, I could be wrong. I, I just remember somewhere in this house is a emperor reunion long sleeve from their New York City show. My band had a show that night, and I was at the time. No, we we I didn't cancel shows. Like it didn't matter. Like if you were sick, it hey, like sucks. But uh, yeah. Sorry, like I'm not I'm not loading your drums in, brother. Like it, I know you're not feeling good, but like we got shit. Like it's just the show must go on. I'm I'm one of those people like if you book my my band thank you and i'm not gonna let you down unless like something really serious happens and even then i'm gonna try and make time to be where i need to be if again if you were nice enough to book one of my projects hell yeah like, right now, for live shows, at BC Lives and Frog Mist, like I, we would love to do a Cursed Womb live, but we just got a new drummer. Uh, he's gnarly. 
I'm waiting for the cover painting so I can announce everything else. The title, we have the Anatomia split, which needs a title. Um, I was kind of thinking, hey, you want to really do a fun contest? You want to title our side of that split? I mean, that might be fun. I, I would be down to do that as long as it doesn't suck. Like, as long as the name is, like, sick. I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately down to collaborate with the channel for our song title and the title, maybe, of our side of the split, unless it's all just going to have one name, which I think would be the way to go. And I I'm just happy to be working with another Japanese pr like project slash band that I love. Like, working with pharmacists on Flourishing Extremities was amazing. So now, Coffins, Transgressor, well, with Takashi... And Transgressor, I mean, like, the latest EP, I, I'm, I, I, I love it. It's so, so good. Watch my review. But, yeah, I mean, I don't want to do a split with everyone, but, like, I, I really, like... When it comes to, like, Japanese music, there's this band, Bastard. They're probably, like, my number one favorite. I, I, I fucking, I love Bastard. Um, but there, there, there's a few real, real good ones. Like, I, Sabat. Sabat just, like, gets sicker and sicker. And check out those maniacs back there. Sadistic execution. But, Norway, during, um, I forget if this has the exact year. Nineteen ninety five. All right. Yeah, it was recorded nineteen ninety five. Originally released on Effigy Records. It's so heavy, like legit. It, it, it's just so, so fucking heavy. I I can't recommend this enough. For just fans of death metal. And especially like fans of black metal as well. But it's more of a death metal. It, it is meat and potatoes death metal. With some black metal. Just like influences. Like you could tell like the intro on To Stalk the Dead. It's like alright like that's obviously influenced by what was going on around molested but then as soon as the vocals kick in it's like yo what the fuck like that was awesome is this one of those to me it's one of those projects where i'm like what the fuck what so storm Vold reissue via the crypt you also get stalk the dead demo from 92 and 1993's unborn in the woods doom demo 1993, double gold vinyl. Again, I did not know this was going to be in gold. Et stolt valdig mork. I do not know what that means. But the lyrics and stuff hail from... Uh, this December 94 to March 95. And uh, you get the Usurper's Winter Blood, Fog Flames, Wolves of Graven Heat, Pyre at the Tarn, and Following the Growls. Essential death fucking metal. Hails to the patron, hails to the crypt. 
not tails, hails, but also hails the YK at nuclear war now for, like, this was, I think, $20? What? Yeah, because normally this is, a, this is an expensive one. So, if you can grab, like, legit, don't, when that sale's over, you're gonna be like, fuck. And, like, with the Helio stuff, like, I had no idea that everything ends in a couple days. Like, I think the 16th of April is, like, the end of the pre-orders. So I was kind of thinking, I was like, well, that this sucks. We're not going to be able to get the copy for the channel, but maybe we still can. I don't really know. Like, I've been kind of hitting... Like, once YK gets back from Japan, I'm going to send an email and see what we can do. But, I mean, it's honestly as sick as that is and whatnot. Like... The past couple orders, like, getting, like, over 12 releases. Like, if we just build the Patreon up, we can just keep getting sicker shit. And I can, you know, like, with prizes, like, there's some stuff I have right now where it's like, do I really want to give that away as a prize if we're only getting, like, two new patrons a month? Like, shit. So, there's some stuff where, like, once I set up uh, this month's contest, uh, the buy-in might, I mean, to join the patron, it's always going to be a dollar. I'm not going to ever mess with that. Like, if you just want to join, dollar a month. Because it is, like, you might be like, oh, you're just copy and pasting links and a lot more work than you think. Even doing this, it, it takes time. Like, but I just like doing it. I, I love doing it. And the fact that I know not everyone knows who Norway's molested are. So someone is going to be like, all right, I'm going to check this Stormbold release Chanel was talking about out. And next thing you know... Yo, it's one of the best death metal releases I've never heard. Thank you. I love when I get those, like, messages. Like, it, it's legit, like, th that's why I do this. Like, seriously. Like, with Marauder's Master Killer. I think this was probably one of, like, the highest where people were, like, I didn't know they made hardcore like that. And I I was kind of like, wait, what? Like, you, you didn't know? And they were like, no, like, 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 when you said metallic hardcore, I thought you meant, like, kill, switch, engage. And I was like, well, like, I mean, technically, depends on what you call metalcore. I just like the term metallic hardcore because it doesn't sound as lame as metalcore. And also, most metalcore just fucking sucks. Where metallic hardcore is a different thing to me. But to some people, it's not. But, like, to me, Dead Guy is like a metallic hardcore band. To uh, it, Whatever. Listen to Integrity. Listen to Marauder. Listen to Cold as Life, like, Dying Breed. I've gone over, in my opinion, and if you want to throw it all together, listen to God's Hate. God's Hate is Marauder mixed with, like, Dying... I mean, they're named after a Dying Breed song. God's Hate. So, it's just such a good combination of, like, sheer terror vocals like with Brody's style of vocals it, but stop, I'm gonna shut the fuck up about hardcore Norway's molested the Stormvold comp on the crypt legitimately essential 
if you can get the gold vinyl, go ahead. But, uh, the crypt is gonna be very busy soon. And I was, when I saw that upcoming release, I go, everybody shit talks Facebook. But, like, on Instagram, I get, like, legitimately, like, my account, like, almost deleted for posting, like, album covers. And it's kind of, it's fuck it is lame. But, uh, on Facebook, it will, like, censor it, but still, it lets you post it. It just gives the, it, it gives you a warning. It says, like, this image might contain violent images and it's like oh like, okay you know but i'm not even joking the diarrhea coffin tape like got me in trouble on instagram yesterday i was like uh like really like serious like, dude i'm not the first person to post this either so i was kind of like all right like, whatever <laughs> But, like I was saying, if you like your death metal heavy as fuck, and just awesome, Molested has you covered. Stormvold and Stalk the Dead. The Woods demo. I don't, the whole title is such a fucking mouthful, I'm sorry. But, just, sounds great, looks great, nice write-up. Uh, there's no, like, show flyers or anything like that, so I don't even, uh, real quick, I just want to check, just because I forget already if there's any, yeah, there are some live photos, so, yeah, I'm definitely curious, because I'm sure they, they played some gnarly shows, like, I, I, I'm positive they had to have. So I'm going to do a little bit of research of my own. But thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Thanks again to the Patreon. Thanks again to YK for having the sale. And for carrying like crypto releases. Because like I said. Normally like I'm not trying to. A crypto release costs a little bit more. And it's always worth it. Like, my Morpheus Descends LPs, where I know some of you are like, how can you spend so... Like, why would you... It's just a demo. It's not even the original 7-inch. Because I want those bonus tracks. Like, it's really not that hard to understand. And I know there's, like, a, like a couple of real sick reissues I have, and you might be like, Dude, that obscurity and fucking putrefaction painful death demo. They're like, like, especially the putrefaction painful death demo. It's like fucking, uh, uh, thirty dollars and it only has, you're paying ten dollars a song. Well, you know what? That's worth ten dollars a song. Because if you really like death metal, this is some of the gnarliest shit, like, ever to come out of Sweden. I know we were talking about Norway, but I was talking about Sweden earlier because I couldn't remember the name of that goddamn studio. But pre-grave, I'll read you the hype sticker when I get back real quick. Because I'm going to listen to this. After... This, but, uh, yeah, 19, Putrefaction, the demo is titled Painful Death, 1989. 1989 side project demo from Sweden, death metal legend Grave, one of the sickest, nastiest demo, death metal demos ever recorded in history. Rika Death Records limited to 300 picture discs. So that alone is a poser disposer. A picture disc. Because most people... Fuck, fuck, what, what, what do I want a picture disc for? Hang on my walls? 
if that's your thing, go ahead. But, yeah, I listen to that shit. So, thanks for watching, as always. You fucking rule. Infernal hails and gratitude to the patron. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs>